we divide everything by the biggest power term. And what's the boss on the right? 6 to the power of x. So, we divide both sides by 6 to the power of x. And now it looks like this. 3 over 6 to the power of x plus 4 over 6 to the power of x plus 5 over 6 to the power of x equals 1. Now let's simplify those fractions and we've got 1 half to the power of x plus 2 thirds to the power of x plus 5 sixths to the power of x equals 1. Now pause and think. This is genius. Why? Because every single base here is less than 1. 1 half, 2 thirds, 5 sixths. And raising a number less than 1 to higher powers makes it shrink. 1 half to the power of 1 is 0 0.5, squared to become 0 0.25, cubed to become 0 0.125. It just collapses smaller and smaller. The same with 2 thirds, the same with 5 sixths. Boom, that shrinking property is the key. Now let's wrap this into a neat little function. f at x equals 1 half to the power of x plus 2 thirds to the power of x plus 5 sixths to the power of x, and we want f at x equal to 1. Now here's the killer observation. Each piece is strictly decreasing. Make x bigger and the term gets smaller. Add them all up, still strictly decreasing. No ups, no downs, no second chances, just a steady slide downhill. Moving on, let's check the edges. At x equals 0, f at 0 is 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3, way above 1. As x goes off to infinity, each term goes to 0, so the sum goes to 0, way below 1. So picture this. The graph starts at 3, slides down, 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 eventually approaching 0, and somewhere in the middle, it has to cross the line y equals 1. And because it's strictly decreasing, it crosses exactly once. That means there is a unique solution. There is an x, and there's only one. Now it's time to hunt which x makes this balance. Let's test integers, rapid fire. Test, x equals 1. Left side is 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 12. Right side is 6. Nope, too big. Test, x equals 2. Left side is 9 plus 16 plus 25. That's 50. Right side is 36. Still too big. Now test x equals 3. Get ready. 3 cubed is 27. 4 cubed is 64. 5 cubed is 125. Add them. 27 plus 64 equals 91, and 91 plus 125 equals 216. The right side, 6 cubed, is also 216. Boom, perfect match, that's it. And so here's the grand conclusion. We proved the function only crosses once. We checked the numbers, and we found the magic spot, and it happens exactly at x equals 3. That is the one, the only, solution.